welcome back to the channel. Today I decided to share with you uh, my Squishmallow collection. Now, I have been collecting these over time, um, and it's just accumulated to a lot. So, um, just like a couple other people I've noticed showcasing their collections, I figured I would uh, show you mine. Now, um, this corner right here, I don't know if you can tell, but this is the kitty corner. It's all cats. And these are cats that um, I've gotten mostly used. They, a lot of them, they, they don't have tags. Like, I'm not like a superior collector that's going to keep them all clean, and this one has a stain on it. But he, uh, Nathan does have his butt tag, and he's obviously from Valentine's Day. Um, there's some other ones back in here, but again, this is the kitty corner, and it's usually be I named it after the, my cat uh, sleeping here because she sleeps right here. If you notice, this is not a squishmallow; it's because she sleeps with a teddy bear, and it's right here, which I found very fitting. Um, now, the ones above me, they are a mixture of Halloween ones and sea life ones. And there's some cats up there as well, but they're, you, you know, a cat in a, in a squid. Um, I'm there, I, is it a costume? I don't know. <laughs> I got it because it was cute, not because it had any sort of purpose or reasoning. But I particularly like the axolotls a lot and the, the octopi, as well as the, um, uh, da -da 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 -da. what are they called? Whales. Whales are cute too. Um, and the Halloween ones, I thought a lot of them were cute, um, mostly because, you know, an octopus with the cute little witch hat, I mean, adorable. And then, um, the owl dressed up as a mummy. Now, stay. <laughs> um, oh, small little axolotl. Now, I started keeping the tags on them because people you know, do collect these, and some of them sell, you know, resale value is pretty high for a little $4 stuffed animal. You'd be surprised. So if I ever get um, to a point where there's just simply too many, I could sell some. Um, now, I found a lot of these on eBay and Mercari, uh, both places. Um, I usually just went for ones that were people that had collections and they were downsizing or they needed to get rid of them quickly and they were ones that I thought were cute. Um, again, not really looking for ones with pristine tags and going to stores and hoarding them like some people do. You'd be surprised what you see. Um, just getting ones that I think are cute. Um, now, uh, they do sell these at Five Below as well and I have seen them at Target. Um, but my area is incredibly sparse. But if you're looking to buy some, uh, definitely eBay and Mercari are great places. Um, and always buy from a seller that posts pictures with the uh, object either in their hand or like you can tell they actually have it. Not a factory picture. I've seen too many people get scammed. Um, now I have dragons. Um, I've been I have been watching Game of Thrones and this one this guy here his actual name is Duke but I call him Theodore because he's big and fat like the third chipmunk and album the chipmunks named Theodore um, so that's what his name is and he was with me through college and um, I've cried on him and he's just really soft and fluffy uh, definitely 10 out of 10 recommend a big one if you don't have one uh, because that's what they're great for uh, this one right here, she's not a Squishmallow, but uh, she does like the dragon corner. This is uh, Lulu, mother of dragons, and protector of the household. And, and this this is the dragon corner. It's um, right by my books. It has the uh, small 12-inch dragon with the two 16-inch ones, I think. And the white one, I think his name is Keith, but... Any Keith that I see online is blue, so I'm, I'm wondering if that's actually his name. Um, but yeah, the kitties like the dragon corner, and that's where they tend to sleep. 
Um, now, uh, this corner is kind of um, a smorgasbord. It started off with like space, as you can see by the the Baby Yoda and the and the Chewie, and then with the spaceship and the star and the alien. But then I started getting more pugs because I have a real life pug, and I started off with the really with the eight inch one and the small one like years before I even knew what Squishmallows were. Um, they were gotten from Five Below. And then um, the other two I had gotten near Christmas time. So it's just a nice little pug family over there. And then I have a, a big fox I found in Costco and a dinosaur and a Yeti um, that I found online. And it's just an interesting little quarter. There's some fruit down there as well. Um, they're big fruit. I actually have a big old fruit basket I gave to my mom. Let me get it real quick. Uh, so this is the fruit basket of little five inch fruit I collected over time. I got the um I got the lime no lemon, lime, and orange at once and it came in a little basket. I thought that was the cutest thing. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was the cutest thing. Um, and obviously she does too. And um, just after I found some more, I started just putting them together because they're they're adorable. Um, now my my most favorite, of course, is Theodore because uh, he's just an OG. He's been around forever. He's a good guy. Um, and a lot of the kitties are really cute and small. Um, they're just so, f they're small, they're, they're so cute. You know, I see why these are made for kids. I obviously lack the healing of inner, my inner child if I'm collecting uh, stuffed animals. I, there's a bunny, the bunny right here. I, I found her in college. I have been going to Target and someone hid her behind an Easter display. And I'm sure it was purposeful, but I got her because there was nothing else there, and I wanted a Squishmallow, so uh, we have history too. This is not a paid actor. Um. <laughs> uh, she she enjoys the Squishmallows. She sleeps with uh, the ones in the kitty corner. There's tons of Squishmallows. You can find them in Costco, Target. Um, Five Below, they have a lot of releases, like uh, the Health one, the Health one at the beginning of the new year. You could get animals that had like, you know, weight stuff and then positive thinking and whatnot. Um, I just thought this was cute, so I got him. His name is Gisla, and I'm sure that has to do with, um, well, mindful meditation and whatnot. But, um, yeah, and then of course if you know you want one, a particular type, and you know its name, you can go online and find it. Alright, so that's a look at my um, rather large, rather embarrassing uh, Squishmallow collection. I'm sure if you have one, it's uh, pretty great too. Um, let me know your favorite down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.